I kind of just want to start there. Like, what is considered a pornography addiction? So you want to talk to us about the definition real quick? Yeah, that's a great that's a great way to, to, to start the conversation here, Anthony. And, uh, you know, when I think when it comes to definitions and terms, a lot of people say things without really having any substance of what they're actually saying. So you had mentioned both in our, 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 our pre intro, and then even in the intro here is like, you've kind of heard both sides of this. Is it a thing? Is it not a thing? For me, I go to the experts when I'm looking for definitions. So I had the honor of having Dr. Anna Lemke, who is the uh, head of Stanford's addiction department for the last 20 plus years. She's author, the, the author of the best selling book, Dopamine Nation. So this is a woman that has spent her life, uh, both researching and working in the field. So she's a psychiatrist. So she sees patients still to this day, um, in sex addiction and specifically pornography addiction. And I asked her, I said, Anna, what is your definition of addiction? And that's the one that I've defaulted to with my understanding. And it's what I try to shape all of our work around. Dr. Anna Lemke defines addiction as the continued or repeated use of substance and or behavior, despite negative consequences to self and or others. So repeated use of substance and or behavior. So pornography addiction would be the continued use of pornography, despite there being negative consequences to yourself and or others in your life. Interesting. So this, I'm just going to kind of relate this to, I think, alcohol, because that's the easiest for a lot of people to understand of what is alcohol and compared to what is casually drinking. And I want you to use that analogy. So if I'm sitting down having a beer with a bunch of friends and then not do really doing much once in a while. Like for me, for example, I drink three beers a week and that's like a heavy week for me, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean I'm addicted to alcohol. Cause at any given point, I could be like, nah, I don't want one. I don't feel like I need the need to having it. Whereas alcoholism is that need to always have that beer, that struggle that even for those that have one, now they need to have five more afterwards because they can't put it down once they have one. So can you relate that same definition over to pornography addiction? Uh, well, no, because well, I, I would look at it a whole lot differently, right? I think if that person that drinks three beers, you know, once a week or once a month spirals out of control in that one day and it creates a destructive pattern within their life uh, that has negative consequences to either themselves and or others, then that still would be maybe not in the in the classical terms an alcoholic but in my eyes if there's something that you're doing that is producing negative outcomes or negative consequences in your life so you may only look at pornography once every six months but if at that point it causes a massive blow up argument in your relationship if it causes uh guilt and shame even within you the like it's and i think that's where a lot of this is coming is like the internal consequences that men are struggling with it's like yeah I know every guy is doing this, but when I seek it out, I don't feel good about what I'm doing. Are you, are, are, are you sitting there while you're drinking? Are you enjoying the conversation, which a lot of people do? So I don't think it's a matter of how frequent or how often, it's what is the impact? It's what's the outcome of the behavior substance that you're involving in. So if it's causing, just wanna make sure I, I hear you right, if it's causing a negative type of consequence in your life, then it's considered an addiction regardless about how often it's done. And, and yeah, I mean, I think we're too caught up on, on addiction. I'm not trying to label anybody good or no, bad of course, with, yeah. with an addiction. Um, but starting there's something with that you're, you're doing. I mean, you could be addicted. You could be addicted to health and fitness, right? I mean, you could be going four or five days a week, but if it's the only thing that you do, if it's, it's absorbing your life. I battled with this, you know, I was a competitive bodybuilder for almost 10 years. And I see it a lot in that part of the fitness space. It's like, yeah, these people are doing an activity that for many is producing good outcomes, but if they're so absorbed with it, that would be, that would be an addiction. So I don't think an addiction always needs to be like a, a negative label. It's a recognition of, Hey, does something have a grip on us more than we're actually allowing to see? So I don't think it's a matter of how often I think it's, what is it producing in your life?